welcome back to this week's Monday Motivations brought to you by Gates Brain Health. And Dr. Randall Gates is back with us today. He is a board certified chiropractic neurologist and chiropractic physician. And today we are talking about Hashimoto's thyroiditis, yes. something that is kind of ironic because I'd never heard of this term before. And then about two weekends ago, a friend told me that she was just diagnosed with it. Then I get an email saying that's what we're talking about today. And I'm like, <laughs> okay, clearly there's a reason why this the is science. our subject and stuff. So let's start with the what? What is Hashimoto's? Hashimoto's refers to an immunological attack on the thyroid gland itself. Okay. It's and named after a doctor, Dr. Uh -huh. Hashimoto Hakuru in 1904 and uh, it, it's a very common issue that mm -hmm. a lot of people who have chronic health issues should definitely be aware of. Yeah and, and the thyroid is a very very important piece of her body when it comes to our immune system, right? Uh, in our endocrine system, yes. Yeah. So the thyroid produces thyroid hormone, and thyroid hormone is necessary for cellular energy. So in the past, um, you know, when there wasn't a lot of awareness about thyroid issues, mm -hmm. you would have individuals who were severely hypothyroid. They'd be so fatigued, depressed. They would gain weight, you know, mm -hmm. just with looking at a piece of birthday cake wow. and constipation, raspy voice. Those are the symptoms of hypothyroidism. Okay, so yeah. then let's talk about Hashimoto's and why it's not really something that we've heard a lot about, even though it's becoming more common. Is it hard to test for this? It's not hard to test for it, but there are differences in paradigms, so to speak, okay. between functional doctors and mainstream doctors. Again, I have great respect for my mainstream yeah. doctor colleagues. Just a difference in opinion. Uh, the mainstream thought is that we test your thyroid hormones. Mm -hmm. If they're normal, your thyroid is okay, which is true from a hormone standpoint. What we're finding is that there are a lot of individuals out there walking around with this immune attack on their thyroid. Their hormones may be low or they may be normal. Hmm. which is important. So it's very important for these individuals, if you're having symptoms of hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's, we'll run through those, then it's important to get your thyroid tested for also Hashimoto's. Yeah, okay, so let's talk about those symptoms. Run okay. us through what are, so, or not the symptoms, the causes. What are some of those causes that are often attributed to Hashimoto's? To Hashimoto's? So root causes include uh, food, in, food sensitivities, mm -hmm. food allergies, changes in gut bacteria, also, Epstein-Barr virus is really common, like 80% of Hashimoto's patients have been found to have Epstein-Barr living in their oh. thyroid, a very high rate. Uh, mineral imbalances, vitamin deficiencies can all contribute to this thyroid issue. And then what's really interesting is that COVID's role in Hashimoto's diagnosis. Can you mm -hmm. kind of talk about the relationship between the two? I think it's a new relationship. What we're seeing is that a lot of people coming out of the pandemic are now showing up with autoimmune issues. Mm. Maybe Hashimoto's, maybe a number of other conditions. And doctors don't quite know what to do with it yet. And it just seems like the insult to our immune system with this virus is profound mm. and it may be leading to the immune system over attacking our own bodies. Especially if you have maybe an underlying condition that you weren't aware about and then COVID kind of exasperates that. You got it and a lot of people did have underlying issues mm -hmm. that were maybe more subtle and now they're prominent. Yeah. But if you look back through the history there was something going on. Okay so yeah. now let's go into what <clears throat> can we do if you get this kind of diagnosis first of all you are a great resource to mm -hmm. the community and Thanks. when people come and see you what kind of treatments do you have that are available? I think first it's important to recognize the symptoms. So mm -hmm. if you have persistent brain fog, fatigue, depression, uh, weight gain without trying, your voice is raspy, you're constipated and you've just figured that's normal for your entire life. Mm -hmm. Those are important Hashimoto symptoms to pay attention to. Uh, then it's really important for people to talk to their doctor or talk to a doctor like myself who test the thyroid antibodies. It's called the TPO antibody and the antithyroglobulin antibody. Those are really important to have done. Okay. And then if you want a functional approach, getting to the root causes, that's where someone like myself comes in at Gates Brain Health where we dig into these other root issues. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really interesting that you mentioned those symptoms because I think at any one point, we've had one of those symptoms, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. how do you know when those symptoms are just kind of a fluke and when it might be something more serious? Yeah, I would say if it goes away in two weeks, it's probably okay. not something to worry about, okay. but if it's just long last and you're seeing doctors mm -hmm. not getting answers so many people I see are told you know your tests are normal yeah. your thyroid's normal okay. you're fine 
Mm. So they're left to believe that it's something in their head, mm. when in actuality there may be a diagnosis there that just we're not working hard enough to figure out. Okay, and then if you do get this diagnosis, there's also things that you can do at home to help alleviate your symptoms. Yeah, right? like your friend was told to go gluten-free. Mm -hmm. That's a common standard recommendation. I'm not telling you to do that, but that is a common recommendation. Mm -hmm. um, there are a lot of great references out there as well on Hashimoto's. I've done a number of videos, so you can check out my YouTube page, Gates Perfect. Brain Health yeah. YouTube. So. I love it so much. Thank you so much for being here. And I will make sure that um, a link to Dr. Gates's YouTube, which is, again, a mm -hmm. resource mm -hmm. of wealth of information and stuff, you want to check it out, it'll be on our website, colotv.com. So, Dr. Cool. Gates, thank you so much All for right, being here. All right, thanks for having me. Appreciate it. All right, we'll be right back after this quick break. Okay.